Yo guys, what's up? Vatic here, coming at you guys with a new tutorial and with a new mic because I just dropped my headset and it broke. So, using a pair of earbuds here. But I got some new compression. Um, you guys are probably wondering why I have so much compression and why I do so many tutorials on compression. And that's because trying to get good quality on YouTube is a never ending task. But if you guys are in the same boat as me and you're interested in having some nice quality videos, I'm sure you don't mind. So, let's get into it. You're going to need to download MeGUI and AVI Synth. Uh, both of these will be in the description. Download them, install them, and uh, once you've done that, you'll be ready to go and follow the tutorial. So here we are in Sony Vegas. I'm just going to go over a few things that we can do to trick YouTube into giving you higher quality than usual. If you have a look at my project properties here, it's 1920 by 1080 and 29 FPS. So my frame rate's 29 FPS. And what we're going to do is, after it's all done and you're ready to render it out, select the area you want, and we're going to actually bump those up to 2560 by 1440 and 45 FPS. So change both of these. It's pretty simple to do in After Effects. You'll be able to find the uh, the parameters and fill them in pretty easily. Um, the reason why we do this is because 1440p unlocks a higher bandwidth on YouTube's uh, settings, I guess. And the same with 45 FPS. After you go over 41 FPS, you get a higher bandwidth unlocked on your video. So these things are going to trick YouTube into giving you higher quality than what you would usually get. And that doesn't mean that you have to watch it in 40, 1440p to get higher quality. It also increases the bandwidth um, even when you're watching 1080p. So this will just increase your quality overall. Now one other thing, seeing that we're going to be using MeGUI to do our compression, you want to make sure that you don't in include any audio when you render it out because we're going to have to render out the audio separately and splice them together at the end. It's a bit of a pain, but MeGUI is worth it in terms of how you can modify the X264 codec and get high quality. So, save that. Make sure you have a preset so you don't have to do it every single time. Decide where you're going to save it. I've got mine in the tutorial folder. That'll do. Render it out. Once it's done rendering, we're also going to do a second render with just the audio. The best settings for that, just go into Microsoft Wave, .wave and uh, customize the default template, 48,000, 16-bit depth, stereo, channels, PCM uncompressed. That'll be right. Now just save this as audio so you know what it is. Render that out. It'll take a split second. Now we're ready to jump into MeGUI. Now MeGUI... It's a very bare bones compression program. It's also a little bit confusing, but I'll get you guys through it pretty easily. You just want to go up here to uh, Tools, select AVS Script Creator, go over to the Video Input, find your video, select your video, and you get prompted with these three uh, options here. You want to select AVI Source. You get a video preview pop up, and you get this window pop up as well. You just want to press Save. Video preview will pop up once again. Close it again. Now we're ready to decide what we want to do with X264. So press config over here. And you want to copy down all of these settings. The things that I've found with MeGUI that have improved my quality is enabling the 10-bit encoding. Um, this quality here, the lower it is, the higher the quality. So 10 is pretty good. It gave me 200 megabyte on a 25 second long clip. So that's relatively large. If you're happy to upload more than 200 megabyte on a 25 second clip, make it lower and you have better quality. Um, and the higher it goes, the worse the quality, the smaller the file size. I move this all the way over to placebo. Um, I think it's still better than very high, so do that. You can select some tuning. Animation, film, and grain are all pretty decent. I obviously choose film here because I found that that gave me the best quality on the clip that I made. And uh, just make sure this is set to constant quality. Now we'll go a little bit more in depth. You're going to have to click show advanced settings here and we'll go over to frame type. You're going to completely disable deblocking in CABAC. Um, it will take me a while to explain why, but it gives you better quality. And also we're going to increase the number of extra iframes to 80. The reason being is that it gives you more reference frames for when the scene is being cut and the X264 is basically going to have an easier time compressing it as it goes through cuts and you have better quality after a quick movement and stuff like that. 
So I think that's pretty much all that I changed in here. Everything else is pretty much as normal. All these rate control analysis and miss settings are pretty much completely as is, default settings. Once you're done, just press OK. Now, that's the video section completely finished. We're all good with that. Now all we need to do is go over to audio and input the audio that we rendered out, our .wav. Select that. That'll come in. You can configure the compression if you want. It's usually on 160. YouTube allows up to 192, so I would recommend putting it up to 192 if you want some better audio quality. Audio quality. And uh, other than that, you're pretty much ready to go. You're just going to press auto encode. You want to make sure you select no target size so it can become as big as it needs to be in order to keep the quality. And you just want to select where you want to place it with this. So you can press save on your desktop. Press Q. It'll do a couple of weird things. If you want it to go faster, select high. You get this little warning telling you that um, basically it's going to be a little bit hard on your CPU if you do decide to put it on high. Just press yes. I haven't had any problems with it. It just makes doing other things on your computer a little bit laggy. You won't be able to play games and stuff like that. Also, you guys will probably get a little pop-up asking you if you want to convert the color to something like Y12. Just press yes on that and you can select don't show this again. You want it to always do that. It's very important. So after you've done that, sit here. It'll stay at 0% for a while, but then it'll speed up and you get it done. It takes quite a long amount of time, like a very, very long amount of time, especially depending on how long your edit is. But this is what you got to do if you want nice quality. So yeah, I'm not going to sit here and watch you, make you guys watch this. That's it. Um, and that should be it. You should have some nice looking quality. That's about all I have to show you guys today. If you're watching this, I think I'm going to keep this video unlisted, so probably one of my good friends. Yeah.